Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Long Pomai, and in today's episode, we'll learn how to work with objects using VSTO. Let us continue from where we left off yesterday, uh, but before we begin, if you haven't, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for latest updates and to support my channel. Also, if you faced any issues from previous video installing the packages or creating projects from template, please do let me know in the comments. So to give a quick recap, yesterday we learned how to add um, a button to the add-ins tab, which basically just returns a hello world message box, and this was the app name, and then we added the custom tab in the ribbon, and um, this write to cell basically writes hello world to a cell, okay, to range A1. So, and then we learn how to use the global class to access the objects, uh, like uh, the sheets objects, uh, this workbook objects, and so on. So today we'll try to explore more. For example, uh, we'll try to add more controls. We'll learn how to refer to the workbook, worksheets, range, um, construct range, you know, like how to copy special cells, um, copy them to another sheets, and then to export it to destination folder. So that's what we are going to learn today. So going back uh, again, uh, this once you go to this workbook objects uh, object, you'll see that um, you know like this workbook underscore startup and then shut down this basically take take care of the load and unload part of it like uh, in we do in VBA like workbook open and then close events. Okay, so similarly we can also design our own events as well. So that will be. Uh, for the future topic, so going back to our ribbon here, and then if I press F7, it takes us to the uh, designer. Okay, so let's add a new group, um, and then we'll ha have two more controls. One will be edit box, and then a button here. Okay, so let's rename this to, let's call this client client name something like this and uh, the string size where is it okay the size string so you can specify the width of this particular edit box from this particular property and let's call this for now export so once you double click on it it will take you to the code editor this is where you'll put in the code Okay, so it's very similar uh, to how you're going to do this in VBA program. Um, once we go to the end of this video, you'll have a very good idea how similar and easy it is to relate and do this. So first, let's declare uh, sheets. Um, source, this will be our... Uh, so Excel dot... So you have to specify this Excel dot uh, for the objects, and then you specify worksheet equal to you can directly specify the object here itself the value um, this will be again we'll use the globals um, class this workbook dot um, application dot worksheet and then here you can specify the name of the worksheet or you can also specify the index like we do in VBA okay so for now I'm just gonna specify clients that is gonna be our source and then this is going to be destination, okay? And then we'll need a client name, so dim client name as string. And then here you can specify me dot box one dot text, or if you want, you can also do it in two lines like this, okay? That's just totally up to you. Now this is underlined because it's not used yet, okay? So just leave it as it is for now. Um, and then now we need a range as well. Let's go to our project directory and open the file so that we have a reference. Now our range is going to be till from A1 till K501. Coming back here, so let's call this theme source range as Excel. All right, and then um, sorry, 
from the source sheet and then here was it uh, k5 a1 is to k501 so that's going to be the range we want to filter okay so let's start uh, before we can filter let's activate activate the sheet and then auto filter uh, method and then once you press uh, open the bracket you'll see that you know you find more information about the method how you can use it okay so let's go ahead and type field and then field uh, so since the filter column is one I'm just gonna specify one and then criteria criteria one is gonna be our client name here and then um, I missed this sorry so when you see it underlined that means there is some problem okay and then as you can see here are the interlob examples so interlob is basically um, automation bridge between the manage and unmanage part uh, code okay like dotnet is managed and then VB is not managed so this the uh, this method um, this will let you um, this framework will let you access those uh, methods so let's use excel n now this part should be good now this will apply a filter okay if we run this now let's give it a shot so that if there is any problem we don't have to go back and solve everything so let's copy this okay so apply the filter okay so this so far it's going good now from the filter range we want to copy the special cell so special cells and then when you open a bracket it will give you option again let's copy so here like we see in Excel you see all these um, objects uh, properties uh, let's copy the visible cells and then let's say copy now this cell has all uh, the range is already copied the visible visible ones now let's activate the destination worksheet and then from this we can let's paste the data to a1 now paste vessel and then once you open the bracket again it gives you all the option uh, so you can paste it as values uh, formulas and number formats values and number format so let's go by this for now and then um, if you want to clear the clipboard we'll have to go about by globals this workbook um, dot application dot uh, cut copy mode and then you can specify false so this will clear the clipboard okay so let's give it a try control f5 let's copy this and put it here okay so it applied a filter here it went to this particular um, particular destination sheet and then it pasted an A1 okay I'm gonna close it again now let's export this to a folder now let's declare another variable let's call this variable wb for workbook as excel.workbook sorry equal to now let's not add the workbook uh, at the beginning let's add this uh, after the data has been pasted or maybe we can paste it in destination workbook so here uh, it copies the data maybe we can refine this a little bit so the workbook will be um, instead of worksheet we can say add um, sorry workbooks dot add okay and now we have the workbook we'll activate the workbook and then from here instead of pasting it here let's fine tune this we'll change the variable to sheet one so the new workbook will automatically have sheet one so I'm just gonna leave this as it is for now
okay here we'll specify sheet one like this and this will activate the the sheet in the destination workbook and then now this is gonna activate and then it's gonna paste it here okay let's give it a try so what we have now basically done is added a new workbook and then from that workbook activating the uh, the workbook and then declaring our variable here this can be up here as well by the way and then activate the workbook worksheet paste the values and then clear the clipboard so control f5 so this is a new workbook as you can see this is where we're doing the coding and this is the new workbook now let's try and save this workbook to our debug folder So if you go to the your project folder to bin folder and debug, let's export it here, okay? So wb dot save as sorry dot save as and then this is where you so here are all the parameters like uh, the normal uh, VBA. Here I'm gonna paste our path. Okay, I missed to put the file name. I just specified the part. Let's call this um, output something dot xlsx. Okay. We'll leave others as default. Now let's export this value, this client. So here, and if you go to this particular, you can see here is the file. Okay, so that's how you can do it. Again, you can use the wb.close uh, and then it's already saved, so that's okay. Now you can also, um, you know, like uh, remove the filter, auto filter mode to false. If we have to repeatedly, you know, like uh, filter on the clients, for example, we can clear up all this for now just to check the auto filter mode toggle um, so 70 all these client uh, you know like dummy client IDs are in serial so I'm gonna do this okay so filter on that if I change it here reapplies the filter okay that's how you can do it. Now I'm going to toggle back the comment. Okay guys, that's going to be all for this video, but uh, I'm going to leave a link in the video description for this page where you can access additional resource. I'll encourage you to do more reading about, to know more about Visual you know, like Studio, um, tools for Office, you know, like capabilities, uh, the drawbacks, um, because in this video I cannot tell you everything I'll try to share as much as possible but then um, I encourage you to do the reading um, try it out yourself I'm gonna leave all the codes that we've used today including the file where you can download uh, and you know like play around with the same data set and um, I'm gonna leave the uh, the codes we've used as well for your reference but I I encourage you to type the code by yourself you know like, and then in coming in coming videos we'll explore more objects we're gonna talk about different features uh, how to use task pane for example uh, how to use the windows forms uh, all the controls you know like UI UX is also gonna be part of it again how to work with database so I encourage you to you know like do some research from your end as well do some reading try to type the code yourself um, I've given you the basics now how to refer to the workbook worksheets um, try it out from your end how to you know like um, maybe try to do the pivot table um, charts from your end and if you face issues to come back to me um, or comment on the video below will you know like any of the members um, within the community can answer your questions or I'm also happy to you know like share my input as well so guys thank you so much for your support thank you for watching the video um, do not forget to leave a like if it does help you and do share them with your friends as well. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग बाय